Wow, 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 Mario. Le, 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 wow, 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 Mario. If I did play football, I go play Ronaldo. Bench Ronaldo. Bench Gaga. No shaka chaku. No Hello everybody. How are we? Ah. No, more okay. Sure. Ah, oh, okay. Sure. How are we? Sorry. Well, okay. How are we? Good evening. I got here. Yes, I am catching my phone with my sister in law. I ate a mala. We told her a four, a goosey, a left four. It's yummy. How are we? Let's try and get to. How are we? Good evening. How is everybody? How are we? Good evening. How are we? Good evening. Let's try and get to 200 first before I even start. Try and share. Try and push it. Try and share. Try and push it, please. Try and share. Try and push it. I was chatting with you people whilst we were on our way to my sister-in-law's county, but um, sadly, the network was acting up, so I needed to just bone that side and decide that, okay, when I get here, when I settle down, I'll try and... Um, how was your trip? It was quite, it was splendid, sincerely. In fact, I prefer it. This is the first time I'll come to her by train. And I think I like it. Nobody is driving, nobody is, you know. I think I like it. I think I prefer it. As opposed to having to journey and you are the one, you know, in the car. And, but this one, you just sit anywhere and relax. You know, hello everybody. You're very welcome. Let's try and push it. Let's try and push it. By the time we push it, there are some things that I see. In fact, I saw my name in it. That's why it's. I've been see. I've. I saw it now. They have been disturbing this page with that thing for days. But I now see that everywhere I see this something, I see my name in it, and I'm thinking in my head, really. Hello, everybody. You are all very welcome. Yeah, you, you look beautiful. Thank you, sis. Sister Rose. Sister Rose, you people have not bought your Christmas clothes. Oh. Hey, Rasha, do. Hey, Rasha, do. Na, 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 na. No, Rasha came on in signatures. Rasha, do. Our customer. Hey, Rasha, do. Hello, everybody. You are very welcome. 
you are very welcome let me greet because some of you may get angry so we are 200 already so let me try and greet anthony joy is number one number two is taiwo olushola number three is monyo luwa oluri de number four is um Otu Bella Zainab, number five is Sister in Kafa Ponda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw some of you during the day. Number five is um, Essay Pretty. Number six is Maureen Essay Gene. Number seven is Adija Kelechi. Ah, ah. Adija Kelechi. Ah, ah. Are you Muslim? Adija Kelechi. Have you married Ibo? Ah. It's strange. I've never seen Adija the BS Kelechi before. Number eight is Victoria Oyedekon. Number nine is Nancy Elijah. Number ten is Blow Bloody. Number eleven is Ekanem Uwana. Number twelve is Gloria Lawson. Number thirteen is Harris Becky. Number fourteen is Olori Emi Emiola. Number 15 is Mobile uh, Lua Duro Adebayo. Number 17 is Kemi Mary Olai. The number 19, 18 is Shonaye Aruleba. Number 18 is Alice Uwe. Number 19, ah, we are multiple 19 here to 12 times. What is soon? Sister Wan the Olaji Day. Number 20 is Esther Moses. Oluani Femi Adeye Mi. Victoria Cole, Ajibola Otayo, Brown Sugar Best, you're all very welcome. You're all very Grace Jean, Lani Yo Deborah, you're all Lydia Bankole, George Nia, Yonas, you're all very Tony Ashamu, you're all very welcome. Okay? You're all very welcome. Now, in regards to what is. Um, out there okay so far so good we are all waiting for the 7th of november where more witnesses are going to come on board in the court of law to tell us more about what happened during mobad's lifetime okay however in the course of the week we woke up to that um that um naira mali and um sam larry because they are the ones that have money prime boy and co they are not suing the force the nigeria police force you know that um naira, Ma naira mali has court case already that he was meant to appear in the court of law for another thing, as in for fraud. That case was a fraud case. And he was, he was meant to come to the courtroom. He was meant to appear in the courtroom for this case. In fact, the second time, and still the police... They are not interested in that part. You know, I've said it before, and I will still retreat. I have, I have said it before that this case is not the way some people are portraying it. That uh, maybe it's politically, you know, uh, they are trying to take side with um, prime, um, Sam Larry and uh, what's his name because they are APC. What's the other? Naira Mali. Mm -mm. They are not. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not for anybody. I'm only for Mubad in this case. So I would, I'm talking as a neutral person that is looking closely at what is happening. Naira Mali was meant to appear in the court of law for his own case. And it was a pending case. F fraud. But he couldn't appear because he's in detention. I don't know why they never mentioned that in the court of law. Or maybe they did 
the journalist that wrote it out for us didn't say that he's been detained by the police for another case. But I think they mentioned the shabo in passing by. They didn't lay fast on it. As a matter of fact, they were about to issue a bench warrant. A bench bar warrant is the kind of thing that they issued on um what's her name? CO Blessing that they went to arrest her. Boje we won nike wo boje fifa nike wa wasi court. Do you understand? But now they have adjourned the case to this November. Yeah. And this one this time around, it is compulsory, it must appear. It's for another case. Conspiracy, fraud, and bugbe bugbe. Who he frauded, what he frauded, how he frauded. I, we do not know, but we will get to know in due course. As Naramani is only problem to Bogo. Jokes and I jokes aside. And that is why I am suspecting that the reason why they are detaining him is probability that. The autopsy is showing some things and their their confessions that is making them not too sure if they are to release him. Do you understand? They will if as they have called upon them now that they, are, they want to sue the Nigerian force. You understand? They will if they find out that really because they are claiming now there's not no evidence binding them against towards the allegation they are being held down for you understand nothing is so far with the uh, witnesses nothing is showing or saying that they have any hand in the buying of mobad but the force doesn't work like that the force doesn't work like that you understand there are many people interested in this Mobad's case. You may not believe it. It's not about Mobad's father is poor. There are many people interested in this Mobad's case. It's not a political anything. Politics, they are trying to put their head in it. But no, it is not about politics. It's about who buy Mobad. Are you making sense from what I'm saying? Now, this particular Naira boy, he's had issue. Unfortunately, again for him, he named still featured in Mobat's case. Police, they are dragging him here and there. This one don't want to leave him so that this one don't go and detain him. They want him to face this particular issue and be able to conclude on it sadly the autopsy is is taking longer than the police envisaged they too don't know how they didn't know how long it would take they didn't know police don't do they are not pathologists they are not doctors pathologists do you understand they don't do toxicologists and all those things they only know about investigation. That's what their own part that they, they are doing. The pathologists and the people, the DPP is waiting for all this information, putting them together to know if they can release uh, Naira Mali. Another good ally with no bias. Well done, you. Hey, my darling sister, how are you? We voice for sister tribe. God bless you, my darling sister. They are not waiting. They, they, they have to put together on this, if all this information. When they put it together, if they need to release them or need to charge them to court for particular allegation, you understand? Hence the reason why they are still holding on to them. Now that they have sued the Nigerian police force, just maybe, just maybe, the court will grant them bail. And of course, there will be stuff like maybe 
holding on to their, you know, passports, bring a short tea, um, and ask for some ransom, maybe 50 million, depending on how mobile is rated. They can say 50 million per person. That's what they did. That's what they did um, with them. Um, somebody said, Iyabo Ojo misled the public. She has a personal vendetta with Naira. Um, for me, in that aspect, remember, we have to be sincere. Truth be told, we had already started fighting Naira Mali before Iyabo came back from, was it in Canada she was in? She went to, she, we saw her in America or Canada or somewhere. We had, we, the public, we had already started fighting Naira Mali and Sam Larry before Iyabo joined this course, if you want to be sincere. So, if you allow Iyabo mislead you and say, like what you typed here, if I can reread it, Iyabo Ojo misled the public. She had a personal vendetta with Naira Mali. Remy Gold, why I'm not going to accept that? Why I'm not going to accept that? Is that we, the public, we had already fight, we had started this course, Justice for Mobad. Iyabo joined the course as a celebrity when she got back to Nigeria. Do I make sense? Be sincere and let's be truthful. Now, if you allow Iyabo to continue to tell you, oh, Naira Mali did this, that, that means she misled you. She did not mislead me. She didn't mislead me. She joined us in the course. We were already talking. In fact, the first person that spoke about the um, uh, mobile being killed, as in take your trophy, was the wife. Secondly, we got update from Gist Lover. And Yabo is not Gist Lover. Abby, we got update from Gist Lover Blogspot telling us this set of people then finally prime boy was the person this lover said diabolically pied, um, put jazz on mobad are you getting me iyabo joined she was in america when we started crying over mobad's issue she was in america or canada I can't remember she joined in she wasn't the one that said naira mali it was after she joined in and did one chat. In fact, we had, I had, we, me personally, and other people have done up to maybe four, five chats for Mobad. The first chat she did for Mobad was in her bedroom where she was sitting there and she wore black bear uh, bonnets. Then people said, saying, Yabo, Yabo. Then she was shouting there, Naira Malisha, and that was after videos of Samlaria and everything. We had started that course. Iyabo joined the course. In fact, Tonto DK updated before Iyabo. Tonto DK was involved in the course before Iyabo. Iyabo is not the one that pointed to Naira Mali. Let's be sincere so that Satan will be ashamed. Now, when she joined the public in the course, being a celebrity, this lover then said he or she got in touch with Iyabo to help go look for DJ Splash. Are we making sense for me? So this lover then said, he or she, you know, we don't know if this lover is a man or woman. He or she then updated and told us that he got in touch with Yabo to help go see DJ Spa, one of Naira Mali's victims. 
Are you remembering? Iyabo was not the one that pointed us to Naira Mali. Yeah, she's a celebrity. She knows them. She may have personal vendetta with them, but she is not the starter of Naira Mali. Let's be sincere. Now, when she got, got involved, mind you, we, the public, we were still doing our own thing. She was doing her own thing. So if you then choose that where she is more interested in, you understand, it's where you to believe, then you chose to follow her to do it the way she's doing it. When she started, she went to DJ Splash. In fact, I think I sh even if I didn't share the video, I was happy about it. In fact, I thanked her. I thanked her the way every, you know, the way I, every time each and every one did anything that I liked, I thanked them. I was doing it just for the fact that I love Mobad. I'm also one of the public that were mourning Mobad. You understand? So I thanked her. Then later on, the next thing we saw was that she went to Mobad's house. Do you understand? Eh, eh. She was now the one that brought out Mama Mobadi for us. Do you get it? So she, she it was her own part that she played. Then Tonto too, they all did their part. Are you making sense for me? But when it now got to the point of when she got involved now and started, Kemiolu lawyer. Um, what's the other lady? Very dark man. You understand? They started fighting each other. That was when me, I just felt, it's not about them. I told you people here. I said, it's not about all these people. Kemi Olu, lawyer, very dark man. Yabo Ojo, Tonto. It's not about them. The matter on ground, is about Mobad. It's them. <laughs> Sincerely, they, are, they and us are the same. In this cause, we are all fighting for justice for Mobad. So, if this one is saying we should hold the wife accountable, if this one is saying no, it's the father that is accountable, they are irrelevant. Iyabo, Tonto, very dark man, Kemiolu, lawyer, they are all irrelevant. Because it's not about them. It is about Mobad. And I told you people on this platform, I said, forget all these people. They are not Mobad. And it is true. They are fighting a cause, but they have turned it to conflicts between them. And the matter is not about them. Attention shouldn't be drawn upon them. Attention should go back to the police and the courts. Thank God, Mobad's family have, um, what do they call it, po um, uh, lawyers that are, as in, uh, Fala noise for Mobad's family. They are updating the public accordingly. Uh, uh, African TV, is, is, at least the, anything Baba Mobad wants to say to the public, he talks through them. They are updating the, us accordingly. Then the courts itself, is updating us accordingly. The moment they are talking, if you notice, I hardly will use their talk in the courtroom because I see conflict of interest within them. It should not be so because this matter is not about them. This matter is we, the public, want justice for Mobad. And so we have to be open. All, whatever it is, there shouldn't be conflict between them because it's not about them it's about mobad and then what happened to moba what took the life of moba sadly the family of moba decided on their own to inform of inform of ah I said inform of inform, inform us of underlying issues between them and the good thing is the courts the people in the courts they are there to inform us. In fact, some have the opportunity to video them. And then we heard, and then we are using that again to also say, 
oh now we know better could it be because oh a mobile mother testified in the court of law that she just got to know mobile again in 2019 oh now we know better so all those things they are testimonies the case you know we digressing and say oh uh, this one down the only part i do not like and i will still continue to retreat was when i heard god knows i didn't see her say it i heard tonto said baba mobad shouldn't talk they have begged him now the question is baba mobad shouldn't talk they have begged him is it that she, she say don't be angry again we've begged what, whatever it is let it or don't say the truth of what you want us to know, what it needs to air out, because we are bad. We don't know. Do you understand? We don't know. So, I refused also to analyze it, because I don't know the intention of Tonto DK, what she meant, and what is somebody saying? Is somebody fighting there? Why will you say you heard? Didn't you see the post, ma? How? I, I don't know. Okay, so it's every post that you think I'm jobless. So it's every rubbish and important post I will be reading up and down. You think I'm just jobless. Why will I say I, I, I heard? Do you, so it's every post that I will go. And, Look here, come here. Let me tell you one thing. If you want to accuse or attack people for... Don't talk sick or yabo say, don't come here to me. If not, I will I will lamb blast you. If you come here and insult me because of Tonto or Iyabo or Joe, I will I, from this phone I will use this key and hit your head. I don't have time. It's you people that have problem that you continue to follow up and down where they didn't call you. Tonto has a right to talk anything she wants to talk on her platform. Do I care? Do I put it into consideration? Do, does the police care? Does the court of law care? It's you people that are jobless. And you let no man now. People will be talking their own thing, be it good or rubbish. I don't give them, I, I don't give multiple F about it. The people that talk and they matter to me, I will bring it here and you will hear me analyze it. You're asking me that I, sh I, I you heard I didn't read. Are you okay? Am I what's my own that I will be bothered to go and be reading what on to write? She be in the normal town on your bad shetting one. Emma tell you what Kiri Emma she be a nuisance. Hey, let me celebrate in the inna. I am a celebrity in my house. The way I'm fighting for mobile scores, I'm, I'm known for it. You why will I say I, I did not hear? So you think I'm jobless like you that anything they say I will follow it. Even very bad man, I'll be very dark man. I don't hear most of the things that he says. And he never won't come be by. Because you people are the one looking for story up and down. The one that matters is what comes from the source, the courtroom, the police, the the father, the mother, the wife of Mobad. Every other people, they are irrelevant. They are like me. Said I should, I, I, uh, uh, I, I should, I, I, I heard. Okay. Don't, please don't let me use this key to throw on your face. A question, you know. Don't tell me sorry. Sorry for yourself. Don't tell me sorry. Emma, if you sorry, she me she. Don't tell me sorry. Don't accuse me of what I, I'm not interested in. And you let me in celebrating lay in now. Don't tell me sorry. Can you come here and be telling me you heard? I be can you come? You are the one going to read what is none of your business. Every time on this platform, people know me. When I bring you to the platform or talk about what you have said, I find it relevant to the case. If it is not relevant to me, I don't care. It's part of people are talking anything they like to talk on the social media. And you like you are the ones looking for what to talk about now. Who cares? 
since they have been talking, how many people's matter have I brought here? Dark man, no, Yabo, Tonto. I don't bring their matter here because it's not relevant. If it has nothing to do with the cause, the just cause, I'm not interested in it. I am not interested in it. Then, so for me, can you call Ibada Kodo? Koko Baba Ishasu. Don't bring all those things here. Don't come and attack me for any of them. Don't ever attack me for any of them. I won't have it. I won't take it. Can you tell me at you When they did something that I like, when I saw them going to, to, to visit the family of Boba, I said thank you. The one that I'm not interested in, I blank them. The one I'm interested in, I said thank you. And I say thank you, not because I'm related to Moba's family, because the one I say, ah, really, you want my shade that cake. Thank you. I say thank you to even my son, Davido. I say thank you to Sam Clef when they raised fund. I say thank you to Prophetess. Prophetess, when they went to cut Baba Moba's hair. When you people, some of you said we should raise fund for Baba Moba, what did I say? I said no, until I know the cause of death. The way I do my thing. It's different from the way you people do your thing. You people should not come here again and blame me for anybody. I don't care. If they say the Baba Mubad should not talk, the Baba Mubad answer anybody. It's not even any of my business. It's none of my business. What I know that you do that I think I like it, I talk about it here. The one that is none of my business that I don't care. You can't hear me say I see it or I hear it because... It's none of my business. It has nothing to do with what I am focusing on. Justice for Mobad. I don't want to drink water. Don't tell me to drink water. Tell my mama, baby, more. I don't be abusing me. I'll be telling me to be drinking water. Eh, bumito, eh, niki mommy. You know me, one year. Don't abuse me for. People that I don't know more than the way you know them. Same way you know Tonto or Yabo is the same way I know them. You know past that. If you are doing it the way I like, as in I believe that ah, this thing is right, I will bring you here. Since they have been doing all these things, what have you seen me bring about, about them? Nothing. Apart from when they went to visit, I said, thank you. I did it. I said, Every other thing, the fight between them and them is none of my business. I'm not interested. Kokomi, it has nothing to do with just the, the justice for Mobad. I don't know them past the way you two now know them. Now, now they follow them, go, they see, waiting, they not concern you now. You not concern me. Me in Koja, me. I know they pass my, this thing. Where are they so? I they do my own thing and I get brain. Now my brain, they take do things. And don't they follow crowd? Now as I was saying, what do you mean by holy water? As I was saying, so, that is that. So the police may look into the matter because the court now, they've asked that he surfaces, that is, and that is the truth. I have seen cases where one is detained, remanded under in custody, and they will still go to court for another case. Why did it, maybe the distance, maybe I don't know, or maybe I don't know, because he is not even talking about that in where he's trying to sue them to court or he has sued them already. He is saying that why have they remanded him or detained him when, you know, Definitely, by now, they, sh they should have released him because there's nothing implicating him in the, well, from the witnesses so far. No, they have not concluded on this issue. Th that's where I want to get you people to. They have not reached a conclusion. He can only ask for bail. As a matter of fact, it's because of the way the whole, the whole thing the whole thing played out. When, when, when 
everybody started shouting Sam Lario, Nairamalio, Naira blah, 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 blah. They buy Mobado. You know, they were abroad, all, Kenya and London. What they were meant to have done is arrange their lawyer and immediately they were meant to have an interrogation like others did. But because they handed over themselves, remember Naira Mali said, Naira Mali said, if the police can give him assurance that if he enters the country, he is safe. The, the normal thing is, the moment you are under custody, in custody, as a, you know, we do that, within, is it 24 hours, hmm? you must be charged to court. 24 hours. You can't be detained for longer than that. You understand? But in this case, they have detained them because they handed themselves over. So I don't know if the law is applied to their matter or they are just doing it as they like. It is supposed to be that the moment they got into the country, their lawyer is supposed to be standby. They have to take them to the police with the lawyer by their side. And they will interrogate them. When they interrogate them, is they find it that, ah, this matter deep. And this person shouldn't be left in public pending the time, you know, the judge needs to decide on, the court needs to decide on that. If the police also recommends that this person be remanded in custody, they are supposed to be charged to court. As far as we know, they have not appeared in court. Hence the reason why they are suing the go, uh, Nigeria police force. Because sometimes, if you don't know the law, you will just be, you know, deprived, infringement of your rights. Do you understand? If they are charged to court, they are meant to then ask their lawyer, you understand? The judge will say, okay, this is, this is, it. they will ask for bail. If they refuse, if they are able to meet the bail bond, they will be left in public, but will be going to court every adjournment. Do you understand? But so far, in so good, none of it has happened. So, that is infringement on their own right. You understand? So, they are doing it right by doing what they are doing. So, that is that part. Now, having said that, we went further on to last time we spoke, it was about Baba Mubad. The fact that people were saying that Baba Mobad is talking too much. Baba Mobad is not a good man. Baba Mobad is after property. Baba Mobad is blah, blah, blah. I still say one thing. You, me, sitting down here, please don't bother to say amen. I beg you. Because I know my aged mother today, to God be the glory, she is a woman that worked very hard during my, when she was my age, she's, she has assets. But I find joy in buying her stuff, in giving us money, if it's financial money, if it's, a, I find joy in it because my mother loves clothes a lot. If you go to our house now, you will see her. She doesn't have anywhere to go. She doesn't go for anything again. She will dress. She can wear white lace. She can wear blue lace. If any time you go to my house, you will come back and ask me, ah, that your mommy, is she going for a party? Why is she always dressed? She loves clothes. Aside that, hmm, maybe her birthday, you can organize something for her. You can do it on that way. The kids will come together and say, what, do you, what are you doing for mommy? What are you doing for mommy? Sometimes it could be money, gifts. Sometimes it could be anything. You understand? If you don't want it, please don't say amen. Me, by the grace of God, all my children that I've given birth to, everlasting king of all glory, 
fi oju anu mi si oko awon omo mi king of all glory no matter how long i live may i not bury any of my children an everlasting king of all glory when my kids they get to that age when it is time for me to sit down and eat the fruit of my labor king of all kings lord of all lords <laughs> the owner and the lover of my soul father may they not stand one minute for me now god no matter how much you bless me let my kids still bless me bless my kids so much that they will take care of me my old age as i am getting older everlasting king of all may i eat 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 the fruit of my labor you don't have to say amen it is people that don't say amen that don't like my prayer that we say that baba mubadi is not a good father sadly he didn't plan that he will lose his child at such a change aid do you know that there are some people that will live or are, they are still alive 60 something or 50 something they have they don't have the kind of money mobad made is 26 years of on, on earth and the way they took care of these people these people i'm calling 50 60 the way they are taking or they took care of their parents what mobad has now even after he's dead still mounting is more than what some people have at the age of 60 70 even throughout their lifetime one two baba mobad is a kind of man that don't ask for it if you don't like, believe in what i'm saying please rarely will you see women dumping their kids even a poor woman really you will see mad woman mad to collect picking for mad woman you go try mad you will be saying that gutter water you go give that picking i saw one young boy on the street of facebook lately i don't know who was I think it's one Muslim man that was promo Islam cleric Islamic um, cleric uh, man that was begging for donation for the asking people to help support the boy. Go and listen to that boy's story. Go and listen to his story. He doesn't have father. He doesn't have mother. The mother dumped him. When he was, I mean, he lay one week old, be one day old for one person. After a few years, the person too died. From that day, that boy has been picking clothes from the bean, from, uh, you know, I don't even know what, from the street. He walks. He's very small boy like this. Very small boy. Very small boy. I watch it, I was crying. The mother, when they found him late, when they found the boy, they told him when they went to look for the mother, because the mother went into prostitution. When they went to look for the mother, the person that knows the mother said, ah, the woman ran mad after some time. They look for her, look for her, till today they've not found the woman. That boy has no family. He doesn't even know who he's related to. Why did I prima facie go that side? I'm just trying to tell you. That is exactly what Moba's mother did by dumping her child and going. But that man took care of that child. When he even married and the stepmother broke his head with hammer like this that place that you saw mobad has this permanent cut it is hammer they said 
the friend in Polytechnic is the one that told us that story in the beginning. He, they said blood was gushing out like the pwa, pwa, pwa. When Baba Mobad saw it, he said, he, they said he shouted out, this woman wants to kill my son. At that point, that was what made him to look for money here and there. Take, took a job money, put it together so that the son can go and start living with that boy that told us that stepmother broke his head. And so that he can at least further his education because he had hope on Mubad. He had hope. Are you making sense for me? Now, the stepmother then saw that even with all what she did, you know it takes a stepmother to do that when she knows who we ask for you. She wanted to kill Mubad. She felt who we ask for. When a mother can dump their child, forget it. Nobody loves that child. Because there's nothing you can exchange with the love of a mother. The moment a woman dumps a child and goes, even for two days, you try dumping and they are looking for you. Or the kids, we, we, we grow up to understand 10 years are not see mommy. There's many of you change it to 10 years are not see money. It is a lie. When you are listening to lyrics, look at the order of it. He talked about daddy. He talked about mommy. He talked about stepmother. He can't say 10 years and not see money. That is not true. Then the time came. The stepmother asked Maba Mubad, choose one. I don't understand you and this child. Why this child? Well, show, 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 show. He chose Mubad. That's another part to say Baba Mubad is a real gem. There's nobody that can tell me otherwise about Baba Mubad. If Baba Mubad can play along with Mubad due poverty, when Mubad insisted that daddy Daddy, you must reconcile with my mom. And he saw that that is the only way the son will look on, upon him. As in, care for him. If he can see agree and say I had to play along, you should know he has always been a man that has sense. Though heady, but he had sense. He didn't want to have anything to do with Mama Mubad because she had gone elsewhere to give birth. He told the son, but the son still said no. Even wanted, if not for death. If not for death. He wanted to do, re, uh, uh, what do they call this thing that when we, uh, uh, re, 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 renewal of vow or whatever it is that he sees between his father and his mother, he wanted them back by all means. Even if it's spiritual that they used in killing that boy, I'm just going that side. It could even be because Mubad tried to bring the mother and the father back to each other. We don't even know <coughs> where the missile came from for that boy. He had spiritual warfare from his father's side because stepmother still did there. They run you. Remember when they went to speak to Baba Mubad one of those days when people were hating on Baba Mubad? Some woman was saying, which we learned is the stepmother that was saying, those people saying you got money. Tell them to tell Mama Mobad and Mobad's mother-in-law to show the world their account. Tell them to tell the world, to show the world Mama Mobad because they are not deaf, deaf no blind they are seeing that mobad had opened a store about to stock the is that same ikorodu where the father lives that's the same place he went to rent a home 
for the mother she had only lived there five months before the demise of Bobad. Now, that same place, he got her a shop. Two wings, I mean, three wings joined together. Three wings joined together. Brought her two freezer. They were meant to stock. Go and do the stocking. On the day Mobad died. Another place that spiritual, I say spirit, spiritual warfare for that boy. A woman that wasn't there. Please, who is meant, who is supposed to enjoy Mobad if not for the father? Luckily, he married. He gave birth. Please, who is supposed to be as he's taking care of his wife? He's only been a good boy. Many men don't marry at the age of 20 something. Rarely do you see boys getting married so early. Majority of Mobas' age, at his age, when they impregnate a woman, they run away. Reason why I know and I believe. Karimos write up that their mother abandoned them. Majority of men of that at that age, many as a mother, when you're seven, 27, you get waiting your picking go don't get. And it's become Mobad felt uh, uh, and Mobad's wife saw that the money coming in for Mobad can marry 20 of her over today. He was making money. It didn't show on him. Because, you know, the boy is from the ghetto. He had seen poverty. He was gradually cleaning up. In fact, his self-esteem gone. He was trying to pick it up. They keep bringing it down. Naira Mali, Sam Larry, and, and the wife, I must say. And I'll tell you why in a bit. He didn't come from the kind of family that boosted his self-esteem. His self-esteem was really low. You know, if you go and listen, um, all those audios, all those music he sang, I don't want to mean it on many of them. Because if I do, I probably would just be getting angry, talking angrily, fixating myself on particular people. I wouldn't leave myself open for what is happening. And I'm glad I just tried. As it's unfolding, I'm following it. As it's unfolding, I'm following it. Following it. You know, you, you can tell or you would know that Mumi is more educated than Mubad. When they told Mubad to go to school, he chose he said it. <coughs> I beg this thing, my, my, the thing is choking me. Let me tell them to help me open. Hey, come and help me open this thing. This thing is choking me. No, I'm choking me. I'm filming me. I'm filming me. You know, my, my, uh -huh. my sister in law. Ah. Oh, too, too, too. Mm. You know, so you see, when when they were together, you know, Moba, when he said daddy collected a word, your thrift money, everything, used it to send him to school. On sending him to school, he decided to join Yahoo. Yahoo could be anything. You understand? Maybe all this tashere shop. He, he probably was doing small, small yahoo. We don't know. We were, well, I wasn't yeah. in his life there. We were not in his life there. But his son oh, says he joined oh. yahoo. You know, he said, this he said he joined yahoo. Okay. On joining the, I should take what I, okay, I will. On joining the yahoo, good thing was he met the Malians. The question mark is, we do not know where precisely he met Wumi. Are you getting, are you making sense from it? We don't know if he's the one that took Wumi 
to the Malians or truly he met Wumi in the Malians home. You understand? You know the sister the, you know the sister already said that they abandoned them too. You understand? So but we don't know if Wumi was abandoned like the sister was. But she went to school. Can I shock you people? When Nigerian kids tell you they go to school, can I shock you? Until you see their certificate. When the Nigerian kids go to school, until you see their certificate and you are able to see that uh, they go, I don't believe many of them. In Nigeria. Because many of them are like mobad when if they are not having parents that can steadily sponsor them they don't end up they end up withdrawing they miss it so but if she said she went and the sister then told her go back home and so that you can do your masters and she chose to what she now realized what was she got pregnant for the for Mobad? There may be question mark, except they discover the truth that she really went to. She, she had Mobad, they were living the same kind of lifestyle, they were both not good for each other. Forget, don't get me wrong, not good for each other doesn't mean that she's not dating Mobad with. Her heart and loving, yeah. they were both not from good background, they were from dysfunctional background. That maybe she was now hyping herself for Mobad as pretty girl, you know, she's very pretty, as pretty girl. And she claimed she had graduated. The sister in America, believing she had graduated, you understand, wanted her to come and further her education in America, but only she knows the truth. Because definitely the money Mobad was making, she chose to redirect herself and chose to be with Mobad. And Mobad was taking drug. Mai said it. The father refused to, to go that route. Even Mobad's sister said it. I said Mobad's sister. Mobad's wife sister sister-in-law said it he was depressed he had loss of memory what is the cause of it you understand so the two of them were not good for each other in the sense that their mothers they were people that have had abandoned them and they were not healthy for that relationship they had no good advisor. They were living their life with the brain of the Malians. Mubad was struggling. Remember, we don't know about her yet, but we know about Mubad. Mubad was brought up in a Christian home. We don't know about her. But she has a Muslim name. The sister also has a Muslim name. So definitely, not she now. The sister has a Muslim name. We don't know about her. Because I think her name is... She has one English name. One Christian name. Because the sister bears Karimo. She bears a, a side woman. Cynthia. Me, I don't know where... When we are growing up. I don't know. Muslim, I'm dear Cynthia. She look at Muslim, Cynthia. No, no, I think she look at Muslim. It's mostly a lot of Muslim. Uh, okay, they said that they are Muslim people, be Cynthia. I don't know about it because we, oh, I come from a Muslim background. I've not heard where we Muslim be Cynthia, but I heard that being Cynthia. Uh -huh. Even my Baba Muba calls her Cynthia, not Mumi. Cynthia and Baba Muba didn't be. The two mothers, they are the terrible, terrible people in that marriage two abandonment mama mobad baba mobad eh, mama mobad 
Mama Cynthia. They are terrible mothers that abandoned those kids. Those kids now are mad. They were malians. Can I be sincere with you people? Naira Mali knows them, the two of them, more than us. Naira Mali knows the two of them more than us. That's Naira Mali's uncle in Holland. I don't know about all he said. But all the things, some of the things he said about Mobad, Naira Mali, Cynthia, I believe. Because everybody, Baba Moba, mice, everybody can't be saying the same thing that are similar. Definitely because of the way Cynthia and Mobad met. It is only natural that Mobad will give it all to Cynthia. She cut across as better educated, maybe speaking spare, spare English, and Mobad really like, ah, this is nice. She cut across, claim, ah, maybe my older one is in America, you understand? Maybe claiming we, I come from a better background. My father, mother is a police. I don't know which police not get any part in all the story of Mobad. Please help me hold one part that Mama, Mama Cynthia did something. And you say, ah, this woman tried it. Apart from the part that she went to chop Mobad's money to go and buy property for their grandson. You understand? For her grandson, for their for Mobad's son, where Mo, Mobad's name is not there. Tell me the part this woman played. And Mama Mobad, you people sit down. Tell me the part that these two women played. And you say, these are true Abiyamos. Tell me now. It's not about exactly. Tell me. Just Tell me one part and say, ah, uh ah, -uh, what do you mean? The part that Mama, uh, Baba Muba went to beg this person. In fact, Naira Mali didn't even mention police, Mama, mother-in-law, Mubad. At one, at one point, if they say she's a police, tell me a place that uh -uh, Naira Mali will say, even police came to came to the house to arrest me or to even come and say something because at least her son-in-law. Didn't you see videos of years last year, last year that they showed us where did Mama Mubad, apart from causing fights, she and Baba Mubad were fighting. There's no part. There is no part. We didn't hear anything. Then when I saw her, I be if it's not her, I don't bloody want to know. But they said it is her. When they went to court hearing, even when we walk normally, only her they were holding. Please help me ask her. What happened to her that she's not working well? Baba Mobad walked in. Ya Mobad, she was very smart. What is Mama Mobad soon? That they were holding her. What is Mama Moba, eh, eh, Mama eh, Umison, Mama Cynthia, that they are holding her? That's where you will know Alabosi, hypocrite. She's trying to make people think that she has cried, oh, she has not eaten since the day Moba died. It is all lies. It was from that court day. I said, suspecting her. And I told you people, you know, they not day my book. They not even day in front of me before. I came here, I told you people, I said, I suspect Mama Umi, that's her style of walking into the courtroom. I not buy her. What happened to her that she lost energy? So she has been crying. Or she has not eaten. Even Baba Mubad, 
that took care of his child, that still saw his child three days before, that no loves his child, that takes his child as his best friend. Even Mama Moba that came out and was telling us that that day Moba died. Moba was supposed to give her five million. She still gets strength. Take take enter courtroom. That one, put it aside. Now, after we've known all this, some of some people have gone sharing some things. I don't know where they got it from. It has left a lot of people. I'm thinking, is it guess? Or because the person have used up to three ID to paste the same thing. Let me tell you people one thing. I have told us one, one million times. I've told us one million times. Yeah. No, they were not holding Mama Mobad. Mama Moba was the first person to enter. It was one guy in suit. They were not holding her. The, woman, the guy just wanted to hold her hands. The guy even dressed like lawyer. Maybe it's Darosha or somebody who is her relative. I don't know who the person was. They were not holding her. Go and watch the video. The person was wearing green. Green. She, Mama Mobad wore white. I watched the video. I critically analyzed with the, the video with my, with my eyes. The two people that went to the court that day, and I don't know why they can't help us tell them to stay outside, is Mama Wumi and the stepmother. They are, the stepmother walked into the court as if she's Mama Mobad. Meanwhile, now she, now she, they say maybe it's another stepmother, but one stepmother had broken Mobad's head before. What is she doing there? Mobad Tikuna. You have seen the uh, back of your enemy. What is she doing there? I don't like I service. There is no need. You don't like somebody. Forget it. Forget it. Don't come and pretend after the person is dead. She, the one, the woman I'm talking about, wore green. Green, the wore. Not white. Mama Mubad wore white. Baba Mobad entered with his hand like this and his hair, Otakoko. To me, I don't have to say, this is how you grieve, oh. Baba Mobad looked like somebody that is almost going. The man didn't look like someone that is 55. They said he's only 55 years old. He looked like 79. They said that man is 55 years old. They said Mama Mubad, I'm older than her. They said the name. They are young. Mama Mubad looks young anyway, to be sincere. But Baba Mubad look old. Looks very old. Like it's already 80. But it's because he lost a child. The way men, they think. You know it's very rare to see a man crying. You know. You have never thought of it that why do men die earlier than women? It's because men, men crying makes them look weak they always have to try and stay strong but it's killing them softly and they are the same ones that all these things now doctor will check on mama mobad they will give her maybe lexotan high blood pressure medication or something men don't go for anything they go just die now then they get heart attack now then they the inside them go they hurt Everything their head could they do. <laughs> that 
That's why men, statistically, men die early. Go and check. Statistically. The one that women will cry, 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 cry. You know, at least people will be going, see all, all, all that happened. Majority were going to visit the mother. Let's forget about the monetary gifts. But many were interested in visiting the mother. Many are not interested in visiting the father. They are not even asking, where is he? Hmm. I see that Nigerians, before I go to where I'm going, we are very wicked. Nigerians are very, in the, that country is the most wicked. Where the, when God wanted to create wicked souls, he just directed them, help me throw them in Nigeria. May we not encounter what Mama Mubad has experienced. And you know if Mama Mubad was in the shoe of Baba Mubad, ah, you will see how we Nigerians will be supporting her. How can you go for donkey years? Eh? Yeah? We'll be. Eh, we, now, Mama, Baba Mobad stay with Pikio. It is Baba Mobad we are abusing. We are very wicked in Nigeria. Ah, Nigeria. And I salute you now. You are the, we are the most wicked country in the world. I beg God, my next word, please. Don't bring me to Nigerians. I'm begging God in me official Beraga. Very wicked. Our soul, person picking die with the abuser. It even make me feel that we are happy that in picking die. As if it is sweet or say maybe because we are jealous. I don't understand. Person picking die. Some of the simple because the man is airing his grievances. We are saying that he say we are we, we are wishing him to die too. So then what, what will be like, what will be our gain after we have killed his son? We will kill him too. Who is supposed to live? Is it the mother? That didn't do anything for the man, for the son. That should be enjoying that son. That woman. Because we are, majority of the people in Nigeria are women and we are wicked souls. Our soul is very wicked. And now we go church, Pastor. Now we, if you say, yeah, but as they say, they will see us. The, in the church, we plenty pass men. Men won't even come. They are tired. But our soul is very wicked. We are so wicked. Ah, God, please, I beg you, my next word with my children, same husband, same mother and father, my siblings, I, yes, don't put us in Nigeria. I'm begging you. Just carry us to another country. I beg. If it is a woman, uh -huh. let me read this person. Let me read. Somebody is abusing me. Why did you people put red it? Dear Ade Yefa says, Madam, please don't say that you don't what you don't know papa mobatu the children from their mother you know african american culture keep quiet uh, did you say i should keep quiet are you mad i thought you even are you crazy is your head correct are you mad why are you telling to keep are you stupid Abi won't shake me for any. You are telling who to keep quiet. You, you are a bombastic element. 
nonsense and ingredient, vagabond, uloshi. You will come here and come and receive idiotic, undesirable elements. Look at this bombastic element. Oh. Look at this vagabond. Oh. Baba Mobad and Iya Mobad. Oloshi came here to abuse me that I should keep quiet on my chat. So it's you that will come and talk. Eh? It's you that will come and talk. Can you come rather rather with your Jagbajanti's name? Stupid ingredient, stupid Oloshi. Emma, make could I hear my own no before this person go. Let me give the person. Is it not here that we are that Baba Mubad said she left him? I be not be here with they. Did Mama Mubad debunk it? Mama Mubad said. Their father in the courtroom, their father was with his children. Yeah, was with his children. Yes, she said it, and she wasn't able to see them. What is the cause of fights? If I'm to go by what Iyaladio courtroom said, we go scatter ground. Except that story, Yaladi told us is not true. You know, I don't always use all those things because I don't know how far it is true. Abi, you want me to best speaker? Do you want me to best speaker? What is Mama Moba's offense? What is Mama Moba's offense? Yaladi told us her offense, but we refuse. We refuse to talk about it here and believe and take it on board because of the fact that we don't know how far it is true. Okay, Fumi, sorry. Fumi, I'll read your own. Let me answer that bombastic element that told me to keep quiet. You know, the fact that he said keep quiet yellow be meaning if he said his point and did not say i should keep quiet on my chat how will you come to my chat and tell me to keep quiet? Have you have you on crazy have you did you did why me how will you come to my chat and tell me to keep quiet that i'm talking are you okay show 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 why me you did why me you did why me how can you come to my chat and tell me to keep quiet I be in kokon shiok po lo eni. So for it ba eni. I be make I tell you everybody na he hit head for ground o. O look a look with dislocation one year to ni. You better carry o your shi come on for my platform. Baba mo bad. Iyala just said some things. You know, as time goes on, we are beginning to see that many some of the things that some people said it is true. Why some we are yet to confirm how fight is true, but the cause of fight between Baba Mubad and Iya Mubad, if you notice, the both of them refuse to say it. But Iya Laje have said the cause of fight between them. Which man will allow you carry his children with him, from him when you have done such a thing to him? You are not well. You are not well. Your people's head is not correct. When people talk. You have to go and think of it and say, okay, if this thing that happened, what will make a woman leave kids for her husband? It's so you, you, you people are not well, you know, it's not correct. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you need adultery or no she. Can you take it? Can you take it? What will make a woman dump her kids with a man? Many women that I know, at least that's me, I know, that they carry their picking waka. 
It takes what you have done to a man for you not to have the guts to carry your kids away. You must have done something that you not get leave account carry kids come out. In fact, if the Baba Mobad is not a good man, he will throw the kids out too. If he doesn't want to have anything to do with responsibility, but he cherishes his children. Nonsense. Better get out of here. Hey, let me read your own Fumi Anana. Fumi Anana Connect says, yeah, yeah. I think they, they say why most people did not support Baba Mo at first was because of the first interview he granted when he said Naira Ma Mairamali Kobawini. Yes, you are correct. So people felt Naramali has bribed him because we all did not know the truth then. But now we know the truth. We support him. True, Fumi. God bless you. He said it. He said it. God, you are. Thank you. You know why I love people like you? You are following the story. Follow the story. Stop listening to this Jagbajansis Idela Jab, Bella Jab, in Kokon. Stop all these ones. Follow the story. As this one talk, follow. As this one talk, from the horse's mouth. That's what we analyze here. Do you understand? Don't follow this Igbella Jab, Latrin Laja, they have no sense. No sense. You came here to tell me to keep quiet on my chat. correct. As I was saying, thank you, Fumi. You are right. You are so point. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people got angry with him. They felt he had collected, taken bribe. In fact, people said it that four million. Eh? <laughs> I want me to panel. People felt that four million. He collected four million. You understand from chief priests. You remember too. It's true. You are correct. True. But thank God you are following it yourself. You are using your eyes. Your at least you are coming down to hear true stories. Now, another story came out. It is hearsay. We thought of it, but nobody knows the truth. Are you getting me? I'm going to read it. But my dear ones, we don't know the truth. The reason why I'm even going to read it is because every page that I saw it, my name is there. I don't know. The person kept on sending it on my page. But I saw it, saw it, saw it. I ignored it. People kept sending it to me in my WhatsApp. I saw it, saw it. I ignored it. You understand? And the reason why I ignored it is because I didn't see it with my eyes. Where is the evidence? That's why I'm going to read it out. So that Wumi, as she's going to give her own, and they will cross-examine her in the court of law on the 7th of November. I don't know who is spreading this story. I don't know how far it is true. Whatever she knows, I've been saying it. How true and how she should say it. Because my people, people are going to run mad. Ah, people are going to run mad over this Mubas case. People are going to run mad. Baba Mubat. Forget anywhere anybody is going to. You people are wasting your time. When you start to pick your head and start to naked yourself, that's when you will know that something is happening. People are going to run mad. <clears throat> when I saw it, I saw it on different platforms. I said, why is my name there? I said, yeah, you could listen. Uh -uh. Why yeah, you could And I've been seeing it on a few bloggers platform and people are sending it to me they, i've seen it on my page the person started from instagram the person didn't get my attention whoever is doing it because the person had written it with three different names 
You use Lola or yes. Use one name that look like a, a, a non non African an African name. Then use one name that look like an is, is a Muslim name. But it's the same thing. The person is only changing ID and using copy paste. Some people are thinking because the person wants to reveal something. But I don't know how it is true. You know, it will be a sin on my part hmm? to say that it must be true. I won't, I won't be able to sleep at night. But I know Moba's death Oh, oh, lo, lo, hmm. oh, lo. They are finding it hard to give us a comprehensive result. Mobas result <laughs> go straight. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking that uh, that Amali, if they grant him bail, ah, if they grant him bail, ah, some will get here and they will take you know all bail bonds. If he's able to meet up with it, they will also. Retrieve his um, passport, everything. Because I don't think they will, they, can, they will conclude on that case, on this case, until next year. I don't think so. Hmm. Let me try and read it for you people. We've talked on it. Really, cut clock. What happened? What happened? Ah, I'm just seeing your message. Oh, wow. In fact, the, the many of you that have sent it to me will be wondering why I'm, I haven't used it for a while. I have my reason. I chose not to use it because I don't know how far it is true. You see? I can tell you that over 10 of you have sent it to me. But God knows I have been seeing it. The, the people sending it started from Instagram. I ignored it. When they got tired... That I wasn't get, they were not getting my attention. They sent it to my inbox. Whoever is, I ignored. Then I don't know how bloggers, maybe they and they put my name to start with it. I see bloggers using it to talk, and I said I will read it out to you people. I will read it out to you people. People have been saying there was a fight at home and that clothes soaked. With blood mobat that so okay. Yeah, I don't know if it is true. See, this one I said it to you people. Lola oh yes, but it's not only Lola or yes writing it out. There are other names too. There are three names, and the person put keep putting yeah, you could listen. That's why I'm interested. Why my name? I'm confused why my name. Because the, this people, if it's one person, or you understand, started from Instagram. I ignored. Came on Facebook. Came in, I ignored. And the, as the, the, the person is using, um, you know how they use, um, uh, is it an uh, email? Okay. They are not using ID, real ID. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to cut my hair like yours. It suits you. Oh, thank you, Catherine, baby. <laughs> I see you enjoying. Man. I see you enjoying yourself. Enjoy your trip. They feel you are credible. Okay, boy, it got me really worried. Because the reason why I ignored it is because I don't know how far it is true. You know, I'm waiting for the court of law. For them to go and give all their testimonies in the court of law. Go and say what it is. Let them cross-examine them. Then the autopsy will lead us right. But because I saw that people have even started using it for their chats, and I'm thinking, okay, since my name is written there, let me read it out. 
And the person, I know many of you probably have seen it or heard bloggers using it. Let me use it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, could you listen? Wumia Mobad had an argument from the show. That's one we know. Because Mobad's friend, childhood friend, prime boy, told us this, if you remember. We know. But how terrible it was, or it is, or it was, we don't know. Mumi and Mobad had an argument from the show, which extended to the house. When they got home, the fight escalated. Um, we thought of it, you know, we have thought at, outside the box that when did you start thinking outside the box? When Mobad's mom's sister, Mobad's auntie, said when they got to the house, they saw blood. Now, prime boy, I don't know if he has changed his narrative oh, in the court of law. Oh, I don't know. But what the mother told us here, and the, you know, I know someone close to them. So, K Crown, what he told them, you know, K Crown blog, what he said is that when he and Mobad had not fight, he, he claimed there was no fight between them. That Mobad hit him, but he didn't exchange blows with Mobad. He claimed that Mobad missed him, hitting him. But that whilst he was there, there was nothing like blood or a crash. You understand? You know, they claimed to us, the police said he missed the punch. He wanted to give his childhood friend and he crashed his hand into the car. Now, when you crash your hand, into the car i beg you definitely it's not like this it must be like this abby like this it will not be here that we will see a slight cut it was a slight cut we saw it will be here if it is a crash you understand it will be here so many of us whilst we were analyzing what Mama Mubad said, we became confused because what we saw was a, a, a slight cut there and a swollen arm. Correct? So we thought outside the box that uh, blood in the house. So when I saw this and this person said, when they got home, the fight escalated. Meanwhile, Prime said until he left Mobado, he there was nothing like blood. In fact, Mo, they chased him away, and that he never had a fight with Mobad because he, there was security there. How possible is it for him to have a fight with Mobad? And that he didn't see any blood on Mobad. Later on, we heard how far that is true that you know because Prime also said he was high. That is Mobad was high. We then later on heard that. He hits his hand on the car. And I questioned the people spreading that, that after, Mo, after Prime left, Mobad, he was hitting his hand on the car. Okay, that still does not explain a scratch like this. Okay, even if it did explain the scratch, definitely the blood gush or the blood flowing from his hand started from the, if it's the fight, which made them hold on to prime. Then the blood gushing started from the car. Abi, from Mikorodu there. When they saw that blood that much, if the driver is not able to testify, so they still drove him home and he was bleeding that much. If it is the fight at Ikorodu that caused this bleeding, he was bleeding that much. Then they still stayed at home. Sunday night till the morning, it was claimed he refused to go to the hospital. Then he was still bleeding that much. Abby, because I'm still thinking this is the second day now, he was still bleeding that much, isn't it? Now remember that. 
told us that when he was leaving the house the next day in the morning, he was going to the, his own home to go and get clothing because they had a show that would be, he was, he has, he has his, I think he dances that, that was coming up on the 13th. So on the 11th, he chose to go home to go and get what he will wear. Am I making sense? Now, he saw Mobad and beats me. He claimed he saw Mobad and beats me. And he asked what happened and then they said he hurt himself or something like that. And Mobad still made jests of him. So was there blood all this time? Yeah? Mobad still made jests of him because of his backpack and said, he may be going to school. Something about, you know, the way he dresses. My boy always laughs at him like, is he going to school? Be, is he going, you know, just making fun of themselves. And he told Mobad to make sure he sees a doctor. But he saw beats me with him. And Bo Mobad still cracked joke. He didn't look like someone that was, we saw his hand where they sent the picture to Mobad. Then his blood was gushing. You know, that picture it did show us that blood was gone. When did the blood gush? When? That made Mama Mobad's sister say, ah, what Baba Mobad said in the court of law, ah, does Mumi want to tell us it's a lie? Because what she said she saw, the blood she was almost asking with Mama Mobad, but because they saw that, she, you know, she's, possibly mourning her, her husband. So they let, but the blood, ah, mummy, if you have a hand in the, so that blood gush and the lot, lot, blood gushing is a question mark. And when the blood gush from Ikorodu, if they say it's from the fight, hmm? and the mother called in the afternoon on Monday, if he can be sleeping, he was sleeping. Why couldn't Mumi just secretly tell the mom, Mommy, Bobadi, you understand? Okay, some people then thought we should think of it that ah, she's probably not thinking it would lead to death. Hence the reason why she did not tell the mother accepted. Now, back to the nurse. When they called the nurse, called Moba's nurse, not available. They should confirm from that nurse if it is true that she, she was truly called. Because that would have been a better person if Moba truly has a nurse. They should confirm if it is true they called a nurse. Do you understand? Because the nurse would have been in a better person to say the truth. Assuming it's Moba's nurse, you know if she gets there, she will have to know what happened and she will probably have good rapport with Mobad. Yeah, and she will probably be the one to have spilled the truth to us because she's close to mobile, definitely. They should confirm if there was truly a call put through to mobile's nurse, if he really has a nurse. Why was it that they now went to get one nurse that is, um, um, what's his name again? Not spending now, a spending. They now got Spendy's nurse. They used Spendy's nurse. Okay, they used to spend this nurse, not lifestyle. No, it was lifestyle that was the one that saw him in the morning. I was going out, spending now. They now use spend this nurse. Now, spend this nurse when they called her, she was far away in Kutuwenji, Kotonu. Why didn't they look for somebody that was <coughs> easily accessible? The fact that you can even want to call a nurse shows that. It has gotten to the stage where you need medical intervention. It goes to show even the person needs help. You've called the first nurse if that is true. Not coming forth. I'll be not getting through. I'll be not available. With the second one you called, says she's far away. She will come later, later. Why didn't you people seek medical intervention elsewhere? To make it faster, swiftly, quick attention. Because he goes to show, he was in pains. He was in agony. He, he needed help. But you people left him again to go through that day in whatever pains you so stated or blood that came up. Because when was the blood? When did he stop? When did the hand turn to? When did he turn to excruciating pains? All these things is just between Mobad, 
Mumi, spending and not spending now. Yes, spending. Because when the spending come into the matter, if he was there, beats me. Beats, beats me is not detained. Um, why spending? Why is it that it is spending that is being detained? Because was it, what, it wasn't spending that was cleaning his hand. It was beats me that was cleaning his hand when lifestyle was going out early in the morning. Why, be, why spending? You understand? The nurse, what did she meet? How was the condition of Mobad? Did she also see all the blood? What is her explanation? Do you understand? Because if she had seen all that and saw, seen the swollen hand and everything, everything that she saw, she's supposed to know this is beyond my knowledge. It is time we take him and... Phew. So if he was hell hearty when she gave the injection, then it calls for concern regarding her because they were not in a clinical environment for swift intervention of medical experts to revive him, resuscitate him. Do you make sense from that? So, but the truth is, if he has lost so much blood, as they have so stated, he was possibly weak. He was probably weak. He was already dying before the nurse also came into it. Was he giving medication to sleep? Was he? When he was in that pain. And you know if you are on Valium now, I'm just talking about maybe um, some kind of uh, high blood pressure medication. You know there are some drugs that you can also take. Do you understand? <laughs> so all those things, and also if he, if he has had lost so much blood, those are the things surrounding Moba's death. Now, why did I drift this way? Why did I go all these parties? Because of the story that they wrote out here. When they got home, the fight escalated, they claimed. Moba got really angry and out of order. He was physically fighting with Wumi. Did this person form this story or this is true life story? If so, Wumi should look into this matter and please just go and tell us the truth in the court of law. The people around them joined to separate them, but Mobad started beating with all of them. That was why the guy in the car, which is Wumi's brother, got a swollen eye. To be sincere, that guy has a swollen eye, but I don't know if the person is Wumi's brother. I don't know Wumi's brother. Maybe you people should find that. That guy that was crying, Mobad is dead. Go and check him. And that other guy, they didn't look like they cared that Moba died. Go and look at it. Go and, especially that one with dreadlocks. Go and look at that video. That video is the most annoying video that I have seen when somebody is carrying a dead body. Go and look at that video. The story may not tally. Maybe these people, just like somebody came out and did anonymous lies to us that Mobad was carried and he saw Mobad in the hospital and he snapped picture with him. And one Nero, those are the people that go to heaven and go and take breakfast with Jesus. They will snap the selfie. You know, they are still saying they go to heaven now. In those days, we call Pentecost of Jewani. They will go, go to heaven. They go and snap selfie with Jesus. They will even say that they ate Irish breakfast. Some of them can lie. Some of them will say, God, God, the coin is in Mumbai. The book, the book of a judgment is big like this. When they were turning it, they were not calling. Ah, Michael Jassy, Maje, yao. Some people said that Michael Jassy was asking them for water. When Michael Jassy won, he held fire. You understand? You have to be careful when Nigerians, they are talking. So just don't, this thing I'm reading to you, calm down yourself, oh. Because people, they have lied to us in Pentecostal. The people that have snapped selfie with Jesus. I want to know what you mean. What if you come on? What if you, ah, Angel Gabriel, TJ, yeah, Angel Gabriel. Michael Jackson, ah, uh, fire, bye. Only Michael Jackson, bye. Oh, what's your water? Water, water. 
Iro, Iro, Pentecostal church. That's their own lies. In those days, they all went to heaven to go and eat Irish breakfast. In fact, they said some people's house is one bedroom. Some people is face me, I face you. They said their own house is mansion. Some people said that their mansion is a uh, uh, two. And what's the kind of mansion? Some people even say that they have mark back, uh, be mash back, a kilo rukomoto, uh, omo mi davido, that they have it in heaven. It's all lies. Let me look for charger. Uh, you people are laughing. Am I running? Take me serious about this sorrow. And in it, am I running? Am I running? Will you come? When I. When I'm telling you people what has happened in Pentecostal, a mama rope, you will just be laughing. Okay? Be laughing, they won't tell you people what I hear again. She be as you people will not want to hear anything from my mouth. Let me put it. You know, yeah, it's not saying uh, I came to visit my sister in law here, so I not get my stand for here. I go manage and hold the phone. Come on, look, come on, I'll you. A lie to us. Let's not defeat Jerry. Let's be let's be doing our own. Shall the cafe? I want you selfie with Jesus Christ. What are your selfie pelu Jesu? God is still merciful to us. So I want you Irish breakfast. This son after the over jet on our Jisa ye wawa maso story for. Hmm. What's it? It is it. <laughs> uh, somebody said, Joker for like said, You people should go listen to the police. Where the driver of the Prado, I have said, they tried to take in a but he refused with the blood rush, and the blood was gushing, right? Okay, until they got home from that. From from which wound? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You have. Uh, there's nothing wrong with what you typed now. The the blood gushing like that. So the blood gushing like that. The blood gushing like that with the way they wrote that blood and it was gushing, gushing, gushing. They got home. It was still gushing. The blood was gushing. Refuse hospital. Refuse hospital. Refuse. Then they called the nurse and everything. They, they didn't get the nurse. Then they called to so everything. The blood was sharp gushing the way they described the blood. As if, in fact, Moba's blood finished in the house. And then, can you, to, God forbid, it will never happen to you or me or any of us. Can you please put your loved one in that position and just leave him? And because he said he doesn't want to go, you will agree to it. And your, you, your loved one's mom will call. And you would still not tell the mom that your child is going through this and he has refused. Then she will at least know. She, maybe as she's rushing back, if the child gives up the ghost, she will at least know they told her. Does it make sense? Even though she's an irresponsible woman, but at least Moba's father is responsible. In fact, but Moba's father, you people know that the man was caught after he died, but he didn't know it. They, when they were rushing him to the hospital, they called the man that he was in the hospital. He was on his way to the... Or when they already got to the hospital, dead on arrival, was when they called him. The man was on his way. But when the hospital chased them, after they checked and saw that the boy was dead, they now called the man back and told the man to go, that it's already okay. But the man, you know, body talked to him, spirit talked to him. He still insisted and went to the house and met the corpse of the child. But... He went to where he would normally see his son first, which is the stairway, and saw blood soaked, coat soaked in blood. Even if they don't call the irresponsible mother, at least Muba's father, they should have called him. You understand? She sh not only they, I don't know, Muba's brother, if people notice, maybe he always sleep in the room, dog sleeping. Because I'm not noticing him in this whole matter, even though they said he was there. Have you people noticed that even the father is not mentioning him? Nobody is mentioning that boy. Abi, Abi, you people are not noticing. God forgive me. Baby is not a normal baby child. Only Mark, only Mark Belomo. Call on Daridim. Not that I'm abusing him. 
I'm not noticing that they are saying, what do you know? What happened? Abi, is he not Moba's brother? Maybe Oman soon see. Okay, 15 years old. Ah, he's young. No wonder. Because Koyemi, we well, are just wondering. They said the brother is there, but we are not hearing anything about him. Moba Papa no mention him. You know, he's not saying when even when he said he saw people, he didn't mention his that uh, the son. He, he, they are not asking him anything. Oh, he's 15, he's an underage. But the father can 15 years old in Nigeria, they are very smart. Oh. You know, 15 years old, maybe a broad children that is 15. I want she mama she be baby. But Nigerian 15 years old. Uh-uh. Even in Ile Hausa, what it be Mome Gina. In Hausa land, they are born picking. It's abroad. These people are abroad. If you are saying 15 is small, and we understand. It's only that it's underage. But uh, they can still ask him, kilo ri, kilo shele. So they won't ask him anything. They said the Baba said Adura is not really a complete boy. Oh. God forgive me. Oh, so they said that the Baba said Adura is not really a complete boy. Hey, I talk and say, you know, normal way they know they mention that boy. Maybe the boy not complete. Okay, I suspect that that boy, because it's just not normal that he will be there all these days. Nobody is even saying, what did Adura see? What did Adura see? Uh -uh. What did that? They said the people. Ah, we are not talking of me. Women, the boy, the way they exempted him, the way they exempted him, go and find out. I don't think the boy is co co complete. Yes, the brother was there, but they are not mentioning him and asking him anything. He not see anything. How can he be 15 when the mother left with only him? Okay, yes, the mother left with only him. And now, he can be 15 now. He must be five years old then now. Abi, no. Abi, uh-huh. Because the mother resurfaced when he, she was, the mobile this night, um, in 2019. Uh, why are you saying, how can he be 15? Uh-huh. Why are you saying why can he be 15? Mobad was uh, was was older now when the mother left. Mobad was older now. Maybe he was five. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, shall let's continue. I do have no wonder if not, he would be questioned. Chai, if now Bodo boy be. No, uh, um, uh, Adura, Adura, there's nothing wrong with the boy. Okay, why are they not asking him anything? Is he is Korean on him? He doesn't know what is happening. So he, he was sleeping. Abi, you know, there are some houses that they have a boy's cutter. Abi was in the boy's cutter. He is Moba's stepbrother. So the Adura is Moba's stepbrother. It's not the mother's child. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. This story is not true. Moba, this, this story you people are bringing, I don't always listen to you people on the social media. Adura Gbemi is Moba's half-brother. Who born Adura? Maybe if I go take him now. Who born Adura? Is it not the mother that gave birth to Adura? You people are changing it. Okay, but not this. 
the, the man has three kids from Mama Mobado. You people are changing the story. That's why I don't like... Please, don't come and cause trouble here. Adura is the same mother. Mama Mobad has his three children for Baba Mobad. Adura, Baba Mobad called the name of his children. Adura is the last. Don't change the story. Ah! When I don't start, now soon I go there. That's why I don't listen to you people. Like this, how can you stay in front of human being and you lie that Adura is not from the same mother with Mobad? Ah, uh, no, I can't believe you people. Ah, no, 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 stop it, stop it. Don't type again if you don't know the truth. Please, just, just go. Don't she has three kids for Baba Mobad, please. Don't type again. You people are lying. Baba Mobad even said it that Omometa ni Mama Mobad the buffoon. And he named that. He said Adura is the last. He mentioned Adura. It's only Adura phone that I know. Ah, God. Chai. God. In fact, that's why you people can never know the truth. Those of you that come and be adding story, removing her, you people lie too much. I don't like it. You are misleading the public. Ah. Hey. To fear aqua. Ah. Una go lie like this, and man lie oju kokoroju, and you go use your few chest the type her. Tell Baba ye so pe o mo meta ni woman ye be phone. Go and listen to BBC interview. He mentioned it there. So let me continue. Hmm. Let me not read you people's this thing again, please. I beg. So, when they got home, the fight escalated. Mobad got really angry and out of order. He was physically fighting with Wumi. And the people around them joined to separate them. But Moba started fighting with all of them. That was why the guy in the car, which is Wumi's brother, got a swollen eye. I don't know who is Wumi's brother. Question mark. During the fight, Wumi got a knife from the sink and attempted to stab Mobad. Seeing this... Mobad quickly raised his hand to cover, to cover, and he got stabbed in the arm. I don't know if this is true or it's a lie. But if it is true, we will surely know in due course. Because I don't know who is entering this fake ID to go and type this thing out. The fact that the person even put my name, Yeye Kudi, listen. Is kind of concerning for me. You understand why? Why is I? Why is the person putting out this kind of? Yes, we are thinking what could have happened after Ikorodu in the house. We don't know. But for this person to write this thing, could it be that the person is trying to just fit in something that in his or her imagination that fits in into the fact that we are lost? Is making sense. But it may be a lie. We know Mobada's anger issue. We are all aware of that. It may be a lie. But I still have question mark on Wumi coming out to direct us to Anonymous. They can have their trophy. Even though eventually we got to find out that it is for Naira Mali and Especially the Mali, Mali, Malians and Sam Larry, which we are all Malians. You understand? The story is kind of is convincing, but it may be a lie. Do you understand? Just like the way them Wumi them made us believe that Naira Mali directly came to buy Mubad. Do you understand? That's why we need to be careful. 
You can have it at the back of your mind. But let us still wait for mobile. But this is the story that some buggers are carrying now. You understand? The person bringing it out, we don't. I don't know. And I bet the bloggers too, they don't know. So, during the fight, Wumi got a knife from the sink and attempted to stab Mobad. Seeing this, Mobad quickly raised his hand to cover. Hmm. And he got stabbed in the arm. That arm, sincerely, go and look at it again. It looks like something that knife cuts. It doesn't look... Car fights, car crash, I be car hitting, to be sincere. It looks like that, but only the truth. I don't know if the people that do autopsy, if you can tell me, if you are in the medical field, is it possible to know when, it's, when a knife stabbed somebody? Is it possible? That, that cut... Would it be possible to know if it is a knife stab? Would it be possible to know? You know, pathologists, I don't know if, if any pathologist is here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm asking that. Okay. But would it be possible if a pathologist, if, you know, doing an um, autopsy, can they... Because I know that, you know, if it was that they were satisfied with their findings, you understand, they would have released Mubad's body. But yes, they will know. Oh, really? Uh, I will be so glad. Okay. Okay, yes, they will know. Oh, really? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, because I'm only thinking that, you know, everything they will find out is what has entered his body and everything. Maybe the mark, the, that place he had that knife, we don't know if it's a knife. That's cut. They would be able to find that it's, if it's a stab. They would be. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. Good boy. Oh, good. Mm. That's good. Oh, I'm hopeful in that area then. Yes, it's possible to know. Okay. Okay. Ah, good. Thanks, medical people. The ones in medical field are... It's possible now, but this is Nigeria. Then go cover every... No, we are not talking about coverage. No, no, no. Don't... No, no. No. We are objective here. We are not thinking that route. They are doing everything they are trying to carry out. But, anyway, they would, they would have done the autopsy in Nigeria. They said in Ikeja Medical General Hospital. But the other thing, the toxicology or toxicological something, they said they took, brought it abroad. The next two, they will find out, okay... Something they they will know. Okay, all right, all right, good. Thank you. At least I'm I'm I feel good knowing that Baba Moba said in his first interview that he couldn't look at the wound when he saw the body at the house. No, he didn't say that. Baba Moba said he was wrapped. He even downplayed a wound. He said he only saw a scratch. Baba Moba said he could, he never said he couldn't look at the wound. I don't know where you heard that. Abe, Baba Moba was even the one that damn played that hand. He said he saw a scratch and exactly it's true. The hand doesn't look like anything big bruise. As I, he said the hand was swollen, but he saw a scratch. He never said he couldn't look at the hand. No, that's not, he, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. People should not stop. So don't add more to the story. Oh. Just be very truthful as we are reading it. Just let's go straight to the point and be sincere with ourselves. Now, that is why they did not hear. Wumi, Wumi got a knife from the sink and attempted to stab Mobad. Seeing this, Mobad quickly raised his hand to cover and he got stabbed in the arm. That is why they did not go to the hospital, but instead called a nurse to come home to treat him because they know that questions will be asked and Mobad will talk. They continued to drug him, but unfortunately, their hand got infected because he had been stabbed with a dirty knife. 
But how dirty can the knife be? Just, you know, trying to look into what this person wrote. How dirty can the knife be that, please, medical scholars, is it possible that when, okay, toxicology report, inside his body, it will be toxicology. Thank you so much, Joy, Coco, dear, God bless you. I, it really surprised me. So how can that small cut kill mobile? They lost it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the part of the author to know what caused the wound. Okay, they, they might be defensive wound on the, that's my, okay, can, please, can somebody tell me, Eh, a question for medical scholars. Please, I don't want you, those of you that don't know anything about medicine, please don't take us off the track. We have medical scholars here and they are answering the question. Those of you that are just guessing, uh, you, are, you are confusing us. If someone stabs somebody, let's say, you know, let's imagine this is true. Can somebody just stab somebody with a knife and na 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 with a dirty knife? Maybe knife that they used in cooking food, you know. Can somebody get tatanos from it? Immediately. That small wound. Please, medical scholars, just try and... That thing I'm reading, they can tell whether it is a stab or a defensive wound. Okay? Yeah, okay. Cause, unless the knife is rusted. <laughs> Not something that they use for tomato or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Medical scholars, please. Hmm. 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 Can you just give me a brief explanation? Not too, too long. Just let us understand. In, kindly elaborate if it's if the wound is deep. Okay. Okay. So if the knife stab was being dispensive is deep. It can cause tantalus. If the is it only if the knife is rusty or if the wound is deep or and the knife is rough, rusty, that is why they gave him anti before they gave him the anti tantalus pills. Wait, let us ask questions before they gave anti tantalus. It's possible to have gotten tantalus before anti tantalus injection came. Correct? Am I wrong? Is it possible to have been infected with anti tantalus before the anti tantalus injection? Do I'm only asking. It looks like a small, very sharp na knife. Okay. 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 Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. If the knife is dirty. When you say dirty, what, what do you term as dirty? I would have thought to myself that rusty. But how many people we have rusty knife in the house? The knife must have had some stuff on it. Rusty deep injury. Okay. I think that makes sense to me if it's rusty deep injury. Hmm. Okay. That is why they did not go to the hospital, but instead called a nurse. This is just a write-up. We don't know how far it is true. Do not use it to react. And do not go anywhere and say, you know what, buy more bad. This, this was sent to me. And my name written on it. They have been pasting it everywhere and there. And like I said, I've been seeing it since last week. But when I saw that people are using it to do blog, Abby, and I said, let me that they even put my name. Let me also read it out on this, my platform, so that you people can also let us reason the matter. One can have Tatana Farang Deng has this. The longest time Farang. No time, I've not seen you longest time. One can have tetanus from even a scratch. Eh, really? Ah, the object doesn't have to rust or dirty. It's worse if the individual is diabetic. Really? But, but all of us, I think we are all, do people naturally have, you know, have we all taken anti-tetanus injection whilst growing up? Because... 
we we tend to have cuts here and there like somebody just so mentioned that, that in the kitchen when we are cutting up many, many times not even that kids you know our kids sometimes they even want to slice apple they pierce their um fingers and something like that so if the knife is rusted okay the knife doesn't necessarily be rusty a very sharp object is a potential infectious object all depends on the person's immune system. But are we all, do we all have anti tetanus in our body? I'm just asking because I'm kind of thinking then many people should have, you know, if, 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 except if that, that cut is deep and that cut that we saw, it doesn't seem deep. Abi, Abi, I've forgotten. If the penetrative poisoning gets to a sensitive cell, it's inflammatory to the system, but if tetanus meds was administered immediately, it shouldn't buy him. Okay, stepped up, stepped on a rusted nail in the market. Of course, even if the knife clear, tetanus may enter him not really from the knife but from the environment because tetanus from dirt or sand. Okay, if you can, if you have taken tetanus injection, you Okay, that is the reason doctors, midwives are adamant about babies getting the... Hmm, hmm. I have taken that. Okay, all babies are given after birth. Okay, okay. Yes, it lasts 10 years in the body. Hmm. The scratch look different. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. Hmm. I'm just learning some things. So sincerely, taking a tetanus injection is a requirement if you work in the health sector. Okay, yeah, I know that it's true. Yes, every child is given a shot after a few weeks of birth. Who told him he had tetanus? Drisha, nobody told him he had tetanus. Yeah, you just came in, I bet. Maybe you didn't follow what we have been saying. They continue to drug him, but unfortunately, the hand got infected because he had been stabbed with a dirty knife. They called the nurse to come home so as to cover up. Mumi and the rest will not talk because they have made an oath. That's the part I'm kind of, let's say all this is true. Do you people think, so who are the people she made oath with? Is Moba's brother not there? Is Moba's brother not there? So she made the oath. Except that one is not involved though. So Bismi, she made oath with Bismi. Abi, who else? I don't know who else was in, in the house with them. Because those are the only... That boy with dreadlock, dreadlocks. Did she make oath with them? Mm-hmm. With dust and bacteria flying around in Africa, tetanus is always a threat to people that get injured with any sharp object. Yes, I know you are right, Farandeng, but I was expecting that the wound to me, yeah, the hand swollen, but the wound, it seemed more like, it didn't look very deep to me. The wound seemed more like a scratch. You know, because if it was really deep, it would have been stitched and it would look soggy. Abi, it's my eyes. The wound in, to me, or that wound that I saw looked more like a scratch. Yes, it may be knife, knife scratch because it didn't look like a, a car, a punch, or a, 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 a crash into the car. But it looked like a, sincerely, it looked like a scratch. But not a, a slight scratch. It looked like a scratch, but not too deep. Not, not deep, but it's, it's something, yeah, that needs treatment in the hospital. And it looked like it was kind of closing up too. If you look at it, maybe it's deep. <sighs> But that old one now is what I don't understand. You know, 
They called the nurse to come home so as to cover up. Wumi and the rest will not talk because they have made an oath. That one I don't understand. Is it with the brother too? There was no one to stitch it. It may be deeper than what we think. Really? It looks like a cut to me. That is why it's swollen. Yes, it, yes. I agree with you, Catherine. It, to me, that was what it looked like to me. It looked like a cut. And it looks like, you know, because it was this side. It's possible. It's possible for it to be on, on the defense. It's possible. Because it didn't look like a, 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 a fight, a fist. You understand? A punch to somebody. And the person missed it. The person would have crushed his hand in the car and the wound and the bruises is possibly going to be here if he missed that prime boy's punch. And Farai Deng said they probably should have put pressure on the wound to protect it from infection and blood loss. Hmm. It's if they used water immediately too, might have caused the swelling. Yes, it was said that they poured water on him, but that was after the conversion. After the injection. Hmm. Okay, the boy with... Okay, they then say, Wumi and the rest will not talk because they have had... They have made an oath. They don't, they don't snitch in their carcass. It is a sin to snitch. I wonder who wrote this thing. The boy with open gap in his teeth that was in the car with Mobad, his wife and others, that was crying... Mobad is dead. Uh -huh. Remember that guy? Mobad is dead. He was the one that came out to lie initially that he took picture with Mobad at the hospital just to lay an alibi. Hmm. Just to cover up. You remember that guy? You remember that guy? That particular guy that came out. You remember him that was saying Mobad is dead. Mobad is dead. But where, where is the guy in this whole story? Where is the guy, that particular guy? Then the person said, exactly that was what happened. Yeye Kudi, the person wrote Yeye Kudi in the beginning. The person still wrote Yeye Kudi, please help me to broadcast this. We are intelligent people to live. We are not stupid. Thank you. The person wrote Yeye Kudi twice on the distance. And bloggers have been carrying it. I don't know the person. I don't know anything. So this is what I saw. And I thought to myself that, with me in my own courtroom, you are guilty. If you like turn the matter upside down, the truth will come eventually. Okay, we will get to know the truth. I'm looking forward to you, Wumi's testimony and cross-examining her on the 7th of november and we are hoping that the autopsy also will be out on that day yes we never saw that guy again where is that guy shouldn't the guy have shown the picture he took with mobile by now we don't know the person they, this person that wrote this house out is not claiming if they can get that guy to talk for us let us go and compare it to the voice that came out to tell us two things i also want them to find out for us who is nurse? They said they, his personal nurse was called. Can they help us tell us who who the personal nurse is? Let her or him. A nurse is a woman. It can be a man. Where the nurse tell us that they called him or her, and he or, or how him or her was not available. I'm interested in that. We want to know. You know, we are just try. We self with the child help police. Maybe they are not doing enough. You understand? Secondly, this boy. That said, Mobad is there, Mobad is there. Can they bring him out to talk? We want to compare it to the voice that came to tell us story of how he and Mobad snapped in the hospital. Meanwhile, hospital say they did not even bring Mobad alive to the hospital. No hospital. They didn't bring him and he was already dead from home. Hmm. Me, I don't believe the nurse met Mobad in it. Hey, that, that, they should, should talk now because we are not, we are not hearing from the nurse. Ah, bon, coco. They can't, they, can they shut everybody up? 
If they brought Moba to the hospital, they would have given him treatment immediately. No, the hospital said he was brought dead, dead on arrival. That's the. They didn't. He wasn't alive. The only thing they helped them to do was to make sure they helped them check that he's dead, go gone. The Kuto is gone. That's the only thing. And they gave them back their the body of Mubad. In fact, is the, the hospital that is in that that they told the father to come to said, or knowing that that Mobad is a celebrity, they tried to even see if they can resuscitate him, even though they stated dead on arrival. They still tried to see if they were, could do something, but they told them no, they couldn't revive him. Yeyekudi, I felt sorry for the nurse because she must have injected a lifeless body when they said Mobad fainted. Hmm. Mobad was already died, made oath with the nurse that will send her to life imprisonment. Made oath, the world was already died. Please read what you wrote, Oladuni. The thing not clear. Oh. Okay. Somebody is saying, for like, uh, yes, Moba don't buy before Tuesday. That was why they waited for someone who is out of country to come and give him treatment. Hey, but is she blind? You people should be objective here. When she got there, her mouth is not, she's not blind now. She would have at least seen his condition. She will explain. When I got there, he was between life and death. He was no more talking. He, she's supposed to say it. Are you making sense? Why? If when she got there, mobile was still talking, co? mobile was still agile, co? she would have explained herself. So I, her explanation would determine why, maybe that's why they held him, held that bound, you know, retained her in custody, you know? Maybe that's why. Maybe they, they, she, she was meant to have, you know, told them that, I mean, maybe when she saw, got there, she would tell the police that when I got there, he was not uh, active, oh, he was non-active, he was lifeless, he was talking, small, small, he's bad. She, she, then, the reason why she may, she may go to jail is because when she saw it, that the condition doesn't look good. She wasn't supposed to go ahead with any treatment. Your lawyer instinct is so prominent in your analysis tonight. Well done, Yeye. Thank you, Sandra Johnson. God bless you, my darling sister. You understand? When she noticed that it was lifeless or not active, her advice would have been, this is beyond my knowledge. Oh, let's gather and rush him to the hospital. Her first uh, what is a first aid probably triggered or quickened his exit. So you never know. She's supposed to know now. She not go there. I be not be her eyes. She take go there. She take her eyes, go there and her hands. So when she got there, what did she see? She would tell them what happened. You know, for them, because they told her that they were going to bring Naramali and so, so every case that Naramali needs to answer to, they are not allowing him go. You don't know what, they are, what is happening. Maybe they've discovered some things. You don't know. She won't say all that if she's part of their plan. Yeah, yeah. And then she will rot in jail. What are you saying if she's part of the plan? What are you talking about? She has to talk. There's nothing like uh, if she's part of the plan, then she rots in jail. Not be the matter with the watch too. This one they are telling us now. It's just, it's just, we are not sure. It's still yes. Some people can think like this. They will just be thinking. They may think right and they may think wrong. Do you understand? So, but for me, oh, that hand that I saw, I agree that it's like a defensive wound because it looks more like I supposed to that's the only thing I can take in that place, yeah. But bleeding from Ikorodu to house first day, second day is another question mark for me. The blood that they saw, the way the mother's uh, mummy's auntie uh, Mobas auntie described it, and Baba Mobad 
is kind of a really, really soaked blood. It must be that he really, really lost a lot of blood. Do you understand? You can't be bleeding profusely like that, continuously. And no matter if, even if I say, I'm not, this is death here. When you bleed profusely, come on, guys. This is death. Ikurena. Ikurena. You take action. This person now is no more himself because he's going away. He's dying. He's going. What's in lobby here? So, let's leave it. Now, the thing where I see be that, oh, so if people are seeing my name and they are putting it somewhere, now, now my pay, the person called the right, right, I no answer. They now say analyzing it, but now said, okay, let me to now put it here for you people. This is a lesson for all. Oh, not every work you are called for must be done. They all buy that young man. You are correct, Olagiwa. And also, <laughs> You can't think of money to more than the life of a human being. The duty of care is also on you, be it you are auxiliary or professional. Duty of care is on in every in all our profession, every profession that you find yourself, duty of care. You understand? When she got there and she saw that this one is beyond my power. Now, so it's easy to die. Take it or you leave it. It's easy to die. She should have promptly advised them, I beg, let us gather and carry him to the hospital. But because some of them also want to be paid for all these jobs, that's one of the lessons for you auxiliary nurses. Shesha Henry, I hope you are learning. Eh, Niba, and it's it if any problem from his family. Go join them. Come, they could now they are not saying that it's a Naramali that send the nurse oneself. They are saying that even the spending on theater, he already Naramali is involved in everything. So they have to prove it beyond reasonable that before they can clear themselves. Yeah, yeah, simple first aid they couldn't do. They should know they should know to raise his hand above his head. To stop the bleeding, eh, but let's even believe that we can't. As me and now, this thing you've just said now, raise his hand above his head. Eh, you are the one telling me. Me, I didn't even know that that is first aid. Let's say we, we made them didn't know that, and that is the reason why they should have rushed him to the hospital. Because even me, you are just the one telling me now that he was. I, I bet, baby, you know, probably in medical field or you are, you are, you understand to that extent. You understand? But me now, I never ever knew that if you are bleeding, you should do, raise your hand above your head. You understand? It's like he lost a lot of blood and fainted. That was why they pour water on him. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. When they saw that the blood was gushing out, coming out, he probably doesn't even have vitamin K. You know all these kids that mother don't go since. Maybe a money or bar anti tetanus injection from bats. Maybe he has no vitamin. He God has just been keeping him. Maybe he doesn't have anti tetanus injection. He doesn't have blood clots. Abi vitamin K. Abi was that one that clots the blood. You never know. You never know. You never know. The day when you the young day it wasn't clotting. Or he has taken something that made him high, that made his blood hot. Tom Becker, they come and judge profusely. You never know. There are some kids that didn't get vitamin uh, K, vitamin uh, uh, anti tartan. Some people don't have it. Oh, it's God that has kept them. Oh, oh. Hmm. oh. you never know. I believe that they may have promised a huge one to cover them up. As a traveling abroad after the whole thing and many more, they believe Momad will just cry and be buried like that. Yeah, then if that is true, eh? <laughs> the police, uh, you think it's going to be easy? You know how to write receipt of land on a three month old baby for their own benefit, but don't know how to take Mobad to the. Don't mind all these people. Mobad for me, out of everything. Now that blood where they tell me now say he had gushing 
and they saw it and they still felt he had the right to still keep himself in the house. You understand? No. If they saw him gushing like that and blood, blood everywhere, they had no excuse. They were meant to have taken him to the hospital. My heart's level to prevent me. <laughs> so you see, you can imagine professional will say that to you. Experts will say that to you. But they didn't know anything and the boy was bleeding like that. They were meant to have taken him to the hospital. They don't have any, nobody can tell me anything. There's no excuse. But what caused that blood? What caused it? Is it that fight with prime boy? Or there was truly another fight at home that was not well taken care of? And what killed Moban? That is the only reason me and you that are this course we are on that's the only thing we want to know we want to know what really buy more bad and we will not rest in peace you and we go about our own life too we don't want to have a closure we deserve to know and we will use that truth to guide ourselves too because I bet we'll be shocked at the revolution that will unfold in due course. Hmm. Good night, everybody. No blood stain on the car. Serial blood stain at home suggests a fresh fight. That prime boy said, the blood they said, he that fights with mobile, he didn't see blood though. That they even chased him away. And they promised to go and beg Mubad for him. He went to meet Chief Kubana, the chief priest, because he was the organizer of the show. But they left him. He said they left him. He was when he looked at, he then discovered that nobody. He find a way to. He even said he wanted to go to Mubad's house the next day because the bag he kept in Mubad's house. You know why that prime boy's own gives me like question mark. It was Moba that called him to come. It's not as if the guy just came. Do you understand? He was in his house. Moba called him to come. When he then came, he said Moba then told him, sorry I didn't tell you I have a show on, on Sunday. He called him to come to, and play with him on Saturday. You understand? I think Moba is the type that he calls his friend. He likes those that he likes. The guy came. His passport was in his car, uh, in his bag. He came with it. You understand? And some people were saying, ah, why did he have passport? Because they have promised him that if he goes to Pai Mobad, they will take him abroad. Ah, we need to be reasoning like human beings, not like, who, 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 who is that dog? You understand? The boy, it is Mobad himself that called him, not him that just came as a friend. And he got there. Moba then told him that he has a show the next day. And he did not plan to stay more than maybe that next day. Because on Sunday, on Sunday, that Sunday, sorry, that Sunday, sorry, he has a show the next day. He went on Saturday. That Sunday was his own younger brother. Uh, wait a minute, Ayuba. Ayuba's birthday. That's Moba, um, prime boy now. He, 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 he didn't plan to stay with Mobad on Stone Day. To even, he, but Mobad insisted that, okay, do you know what? Let's do this. Go with me for my show on Sunday. Then you will invite Ayuba them. We all come to the house, my own place, and we do birthday for Ayuba. Do you understand? Well, we do birthday for him. So there was no plan to see um, when Prime Boy did not expect to see Moba to see Mobad. Prime Boy got Mobad's call from you know, as they call Lamb. And when Prime Boy hears from Mobad, he's like God called him. Ne? Because to him, they are friends, childhood friend, but Allah knew any. So he went to meet him. They live in Ikoroduo. Where kind boy grew up, uh, uh, Mobad grew up too. He went to meet Pri uh, Mobad in Ikoyia, Victoria Island. 
are you hearing me us i be me now the boy getting the prime boy was meant to go back home because his younger brother ayuba's birthday is on sunday the same day mobad is having but mobad told him no don't go what you will do for me is to come invite um what's his name invite this person to come let us have the party together that was where prime boy ended up going to when the jassy left their intention was to go and all meet up in mobile's house and go and continue the partying but mobile chased him away out of anger so that was where I, when uh what's his name chief kubana did not turn up again he then called his uh, manager or something something that one got akada they came they now went with okada to go and meet ayuba his younger brother ayuba they now continue partying there in fact they were he was even asked that ah what happened and everything he said you know as normal now they don't fight so he and ayuba they continued the birthday then the next day after they woke up sha around past 12 the next day which is now on monday they now went nearer to mobile's place go and listen they went nearer to mobile's place you know because their intention before was to do the party in mobile's house but mobile don't chase prime boy so they don't go feel good there again so make an arrest no mercy what are you doing on, online with your nigeria uh, national anthem gele you wear green you come online they say make person red you go and rest you go and rest carry your gele 1963 nigeria uh, anniversary gele where you turn your head go and rest we are talking you are online we are talking go and rest Iye. at the age of 63 you in nigeria you are from nigeria you wear green put for head you still they 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 mind they mind waiting not be your business. Go and rest. Go and rest. Go and rest. I mean, how much data you get? The little change you get. Instead of you to go and use it to eat, that's what you be carrying your yeye gele. They do satellite dish up and down. As I was saying. Before I want to cut out you, cut it, cut it, I want age group in Nigeria, Nigeria anniversary, best man, that's it. Wa, can't look. I want no loss on one young tiwa, asunji. Didn't he? He 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 mess. He called Mumi. Mumi then told he told Mumi he's coming because he left his bag. Mumi said no. Come on, wa. Where is? Mubad is, I don't know if he even said Mubad is sleeping or something like that. That she now said a mess, he now said a messaging Mumi, message Mumi refused to answer. Go on. He said, I'm not at a rojo. He would have spilled more. He would have spilled more. That prime boy, he's a jellyfish. He would have, he had on Jenny Bitowak, he shake me movie bajel, and Mokomo Lomo, rice in ya and ta. Yeah, yeah, giddy, long jello, you know, <laughs> rice, the rice, fifty naira, hundred naira, ni mama enta. Hey, but we've had to roll with some old lawyer. He give back, he give. Imagine Mobad at the age of thirteen, the same place that they they built wood for the woman to be selling rice is where she is here to she today. It's not as if. Uh, you know, uh, when Mobad made it, they are feeling entitled. They are very happy that even Mobad they carry their song come out. The boy they feel, uh, uh, you know, she said, if not for Mobad, he won't know Bella Shmushma, Bella Shmuda. Uh, uh. He's really feeling big that God blessed him with Mobad. Yes, Prime Boy may have been jealous of Mobad, but indirectly, God kind of saved him. Wow, how, Giwa. Why do you say Pride Boy may have been jealous of Mumba? Were you there? Do you know their hearts? Were you there? 
Were you there? Do you know their heart? Don't say that. If, if you, you never know. You don't know if he was or never was jealous. Where did you see sign in all the stories so far? There was no... You people sent out narrative to the world that is the boy that cried more bad. Were you there? If, we, if you can reason like that, then we can also say Mumi Pai Mobad. The reason why we are not able to say it is because we are not sure. We don't know. Were you there? How do you know that Mobad, a prime boy, is jealous of Mumi? Jealous of, uh, uh, what's his name? Mobad. The same way they said Prime Boy and Wumi were sleeping with each other. In fact, Prime Boy is the one that is virgin Wumi. Ah, no, please, don't form that story. Let's be talking on the one we are seeing that they are using their mouth to tell us. You cannot say, you, a boy that was with. Look, Mary Eyes, if you better don't let me use hammer on your head, though. Better get out of here. Are you okay? Who is playing with you? Who is your age mate here? Who is playing with you? Because we are giving you attention. I don't I be crazy. Because you don't say, you don't say, you don't say, I beg, I beg, I beg. Mary, I better get out of here. I'll be ice blocking. You better get out. You are not playing with you here. How many people will be your mates for here? Old or young? You don't mad in me. Be who they play with you. Oh, she loves you. Because we are giving you attention, small, 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 small. You think say you be celebrity? Are you the grace? Sorry, Jari, I'm when you're giddy. Let's go and sleep and leave this ragamuffin to go and bumbo clad has a bumbo clad gale. Ole, dickiness, ole, ole, buruku. Those are the dickiness that they carry to hotel. You know that Igbo man carry to hotel. Told all pie and you know hotel. Be told him come, ole, ushi. Kilong paleri. I will get you shit away, sorry. No church. I want the kindness you should only get in Nigeria. Thank you so much, Dare. Everybody, more wish you less attention. Ice block, ice water. Catch you, you know, see the only run. It is a we they play with time. It is a we get time for all those kind of time. Be waiting with because we they take and cash crew. She, she, yeah, yeah, don't give away eyes. I say she's in her twenties. Eh, she's in her twenties. She can't tie that can't get it for head. Nonsense. That I look both take care of me. It can yeah, yeah, get it. She tie for her now. She tip mommy get it. <laughs> Nonsense, get. Okay, let's go, Jare. Good night, everybody. So, I don't think so. I don't suspect jealousy, you know. I don't know. The same way we can think of, you know. I, I even still, out of everybody, now that prime boy, I even really, God sees my heart. Now that prime boy, I just really think, <laughs> I think he just moved with Moba the wrong time. Ah, if, if he has no hand in anything, he will, he will never be a happy boy for you. He will have real PTSD. Post traumatic stress disorder. Don't you know what it is? A friend you took in, you loved, you understand? Then he died, they can't accuse you as prime suspect. It's not funny, yo. Hey, it's so gay, though. It's a green tree. Ah, uh, uh, it's um, you should know now. Under the banana tree, no wonder. Uh, hmm. Not them. So you are under the banana tree, green banana tree. Not them. Hmm. Now them, no wonder people they talk go here, she they talk go that side. You know them now, now them. Hey, you yeah, are sorry. Bele, tie. Bele. Ah, now them. Hmm, now them. Love you, call. Love you. When you come, abuse me, finish. You say, make I say until I love you. Now them. Now why banana there at the back of her head there? Mumi is not true to the whole. Ah, no, no, no. I just feel sorry for him. No, no, no. That boy, he don't suffer. Ah, that boy, now he had pity pass. All the others, God sees my heart. I don't know. I never, I don't feel. But that prime boy, he go, they regret. If after everything, they clear that boy, he go cry, cry, cry. In fact, he go, ah! He go get PTSD. I be waiting till they call that thing. He go, he go affect her. I pray that they should take care of him. 
Good night, everybody. I love you, people. Mary, I carry your flower. Go somewhere else. I don't want flower. Which one be this one? You abuse me. How can you abuse me? I can't they give me flower for you? Well, see, see your hand. They do like this. Catherine, my darling. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Helen. Oh, Awo Lalu. I swear, Pambo is just a victim. I'm telling you, a victim of circumstance. I'm telling you, Bruno Emmanuel, the boy. Eh? Now the boy suffer. Pass for this matter. I'm just waiting. Let them conclude. Anthony, the day I'm pro my probably have to start from scratch again. I'm telling you, he lost so he lost because now prime day now mobad they carry and go everywhere. You know, he never reach many places. Now mobad be mean demigod. The, he's his friend, but he's demigod. You know, he say he say make him not come down. He knows that the, my friend when he's angry, when he's high, he's always high angry. You understand? He said he wanted to clear the way for him. He shouldn't call that. So are those old public boys, all those area boys wouldn't hurt him. More or less like a slave to a friend. And he's older than Mobado. He's older than Mobad. But he did, he doesn't mind. He said, if not for Mobad, uh, Bella Schmuzza, all the place he has entered, he can't enter that Bella Schmuzza because he has Schmuzza dashed him with his chain a bikini con 700,000. He could read where he said, if not for Moba, many places. Go and watch that Ikorodu concert. Now, he they do bodyguard for Moba. If Moba go this way, he go follow. For stage, now he, he was happy to be with Moba. And I bet that's how, that's why the father said, that's how they play. And even this person, lifestyle said the same thing, that that's the way they play. That's how they play. That they are rough in playing gossip. But I don't think to an extent he will use knife or use anything. But let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Uh, good night, mercy. Go away, Joe. But good night. God bless you. Good night. Lola, how you need you, my darling sis. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow by the grace of God. Love you. He's a loyal friend. But hopefully God and the court of law will. We, they will do everything. They will do the trial. We will hear it and everything. We will see it with our eyes by the grace of God. Okay? Mm, we will see it with our eyes. They will be able to let us know. We need a closure. We want justice for Mobad. That's all. That is all I, we look forward to. Justice only for Mobad. Good night, everybody. I love you all. All right? Good night. All right. Bye. This is Afolasha Ade for Larry. Victoria Edmuda Ko. Good night, Mercy Eyes. Good night, darling. Sayekpe Vera Kemi. Thank you. Adele Ye Janet Abimbola. Good night, everybody. God will speak for Prime Boy. Yes. Amen. Amen. God, God should you not get anybody. Money not day, nothing. No, since everybody don't they say they want to lock by yeah in it. He in the nurse and the um uh, what's that other one say spending. You not get now there they go buy if nobody hey I just pray God will come true for for prime boy you God should just come true for bye boy you know that. love you more Rukaya Bello Tonya mwah. good night everybody I love you people good night well done yeah you could thank you Olufum Lola oh Miss Young Fire you are a champion amen and you too blessing Asamota good night Mahi Omo love. Good night. Oh, more, oh, more love. Oh, more, oh, more. 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 Oh, more